I think these three times I came here, I, I think I, I turned back the clock like 10 years. I think all because I, I was, I, run, I started doing sport when I was 12 years old. Now I'm 36. The new Valentor Featherweight World Champion, Chris Cyborg. So, and they always, and they always just train, 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 and never something for getting better, something for, and this is really giving, give up great for me, for my body, for me can fight more. Honestly, you're talking about the greatest female fighter of all time. The body of work that she's done, the contribution to female mixed martial arts that she has contributed to me has been the biggest impact in female MMA. And, you know, fights are fights. And as she's getting older, she still looks amazing. She looks as good now as she did back in 2009, 2010, when I was promoting her. I came the first time. For me, it was everything new. I didn't know too much about. But then after I did the first time, uh, I see how it works. And then one day I did ankle, knees, shoulders, wrist. I did to my back and facial. I did everything. So I cannot move. When I get out from the office, I have to, I get out of the wheelchair. I cannot move anything. She had amazing results with us after her first experience with us after her first treatment. Uh, after that, she invited me and the uh, chief medical officer to go watch her fight, and man, what an experience. She was a beast. Um, she won her fight, she looked amazing. Uh, from her words, she felt better than she has in years and years. So she continues to come back and be a patient. Hey! Do you think, and oh, you've almost died from a weight cut. Yeah. Do you think that maybe getting these stem cells helps regenerate your other organs from, from you know, to that extreme weight cut to back? For sure, you know, it's a, when you have bad cut, it's do a lot of things. You have thyroid problem. It's, it's a lot of things on your diet when you cut weight. It's, it's bad because you take all the water in your body, so you kill your own cells, everything, that you have to do again, and it is very bad to, to your body. Okay, now it's not doing too bad, but I'm still doing cuts. But for sure, some cuts, bad cuts, it take a lot of years for me. And doing stem cells, I think I'm, I give it back what I take out before. And how many times are you doing those weight cuts a year? Maybe three, maybe three times. I know bad like the other ones, because one that was bad because I was doing catch weight. It was the weight of no fight. But yeah, three times. UFC 240 and you got hit one time and it was bad. It was bad. And I have my scar shoes here when uh, I cut, have a very big. And then the doctor did it very bad too. He's, he's, he's put very tight, like the stitches. And you can see the healing. I don't have makeup anything in my face now. And you can see healing very well. And I did, I think, three times. Maybe third time, it's because I see the results. I come because it really works, and then the beginning I didn't know too much, and then I see how it works, and they study, see everything, and it really, I'm getting punched in the head every day, so in the training. I did in my back for my, for don't have in future CTE, something like this, for reconstruction of my cells and my brain, and I really work, is working the ever injury I have in my body. My ankles before, I, I twist all the time, now I don't twist anymore. So, because of, of, uh, I have a ligaments, like no heavy, like cut and everything. I feel my body amazing, very good. I think a lot of people are afraid to do. So when they, they follow me and they say, I come here, ah, okay, Chris survived, she's okay. I think then we really don't know too much about, but now it's good because in the fans, a lot of fighters came here, a lot of athletes come here, then explain what's happening so you see the difference. So I think this is open the door for them coming and then make me happy, you know, because it really works. If you look at her complete body of work and contribution to female MMA, she's number one. There's nobody bigger. Any girl that's gonna fight her better be ready because 
she's coming full steam ahead. To me, it's like as long as she takes care of her body, takes care of herself, and does keeps doing what she's doing, I believe she could fight till she's, you know, uh, 40 years old.